So I'm going to give a little update on my Z80 computer that I'm working on here. Um, to give you a very brief review, this is just a bare minimum Z80 system. So it's just a Z80 CPU, some address decoding, um, an address bus, a data bus, um, a ROM and RAM chip, and now an I.O. device. And for that, I'm using an Arduino. That's actually the big change um, that happened recently because before I didn't have an I.O. device. So I'm going to, just as a quick recap, run through the setup here. So over here, that flashing light is my clock signal for my CPU. There's the Z80 CPU hiding under those wires. These are the control lines here. So this is I.O. request. This is memory request. This is read, this is write, and there's reset here. And the 16 LEDs are the 16-bit address. Uh, the eight LEDs correspond to the data bus. So there's eight green LEDs there. I have a ROM and RAM chip right here. That's the ROM. And this LED um, indicates that the ROM chip is being selected. Here's the RAM, and this LED indicates that the RAM chip is selected. So when that one lits, when that LED lights up, um, it's reading or writing to the RAM chip, like right there. And here, I have my Arduino that I'm using as an I/O device. the re The reason for this mainly is because <clears throat> without an I/O device when the Z80 sends an IO request, I mean, it has nothing to read. There's no data on the data bus, or it has nothing to write to. So basically, the Arduino is just fulfilling the role of providing data to the Z80 CPU when it requests data. And that's really all it's doing. It's not really controlling anything. The Z80 decides, um, based on its program, when it wants to request data from the I.O. device. So the Arduino just responds to those requests and either reads data or writes data as it's requested. And what I'm doing is displaying those outputs on the serial monitor from the Arduino. So this is showing from the Arduino's perspective the data that it's reading and writing to the data bus. So that very first line I.O. read that is a byte <clears throat> that was sent from the Z80 to the Arduino, and it's just displaying that byte. And every time it sends, every time every time the um, Z80 sends a read request, the Arduino just writes a single byte to the data bus. So you can see here, it's just doing a binary count. That's just the program I've written. So every time the Z80 sends a read request to the I/O. Um, the Arduino just sends a binary number to the data bus and it increments it by one for every uh, single request. That noise you heard in the background was actually the bell. <laughs> that was the bell on my rotary phone. It kind of rings randomly once in a while, just in case you're wondering what that was. Anyways, back to the Z80. Um, yeah, so, and this board over here, this is a whole bunch of opto isolators. Um, the reason for that is because while <clears throat> the Z80 has an 8-bit data bus that's bi-directional, the Arduino has eight separate inputs and outputs because when you, if you've ever written an Arduino program before, you know that all your all your pins have to be defined as either an input or an output. It can't do both. So I have to take the eight bits from the Z80's data bus and split it up into 16 lines, eight input and eight output. And basically this board with all these opto isolators is doing that. It's splitting up the data into input and output so that it's compatible with the Arduino. Yeah, so basically the Z80 is controlling everything that's going on here. And the Arduino just gives it something to read data from or write data to when it sends an IO request. So now I have a more complete system. Before it was 
it was kind of incomplete just because, I mean, it, w it would do nothing when there was an I.O. request. So, and really, it's still not doing a whole lot. I mean, all it's doing is, you know, writing these random, you know, bytes to the data bus. I mean, I don't think it's really even doing anything with them. It just, it just has some numbers to crunch. So, anyways, that's where this is right now. Thanks for watching.